Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dabal Mehta and today we will understand how to run decision tree in Orange. A decision tree is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression tasks. It splits the data into subsets based on the features of the data set and creates a tree-like structure of the decisions to predict the target variable. It is a tree-like model that is constructed by recursively splitting the data set into smaller and smaller subsets based on the most significant features that discriminate between the different classes or values of the target variable. The evaluation of the decision tree is done on the basis of the confusion matrix. On y-axis, we are having true label and on x-axis, the predicted label. Now, let's say that a person is having a COVID, that is the original data, the person is having the COVID or the person is normal. The prediction done by the model is the person is having a COVID or the person is normal. So we are having 50 such cases in which the actual data, the person was having the COVID and the prediction done by the model is also correct. The second possibility, the person is normal and the prediction done by the model is also normal. So 114 are such cases. So we can say 50 plus 114 are correctly classified cases according to the model. Now let's talk about this six. Person is normal and the prediction done by the model is they are having COVID. So this is misclassification. The second possibility. The person is having a COVID but the prediction done by the model is they are normal. So 22 such cases are there. In total, 22 plus 6 are misclassified cases. Cross-validation. Cross-validation is a technique for validating the model efficiency by training it on the subset of input data and testing on previously unseen subset of the input data. We can also say it is a technique to check how a statistical model generalizes to an independent data set. Now, let's take the example. This is all data. The green one is a training data and the blue one is a testing data. How cross validation works? So first of all, it creates folds. So the entire data is now in five folds. So if we are having 100 observations in each fold, we are having 20 observations. Now split one. So in split one, fold one will become the testing data and fold two, three, four, five which are in green, they will become the training data. In second iteration, also known as a splits, poll 2 is a testing data. So this will be repeated five times. And on this basis, the best parameters are, the best parameters are found. Now let's proceed further. In orange, the first widget, which will activate is a file widget. Just click on it. Now double click on it. You can browse your own data sets from here or activate the sample data sets which are available in browse documentation data sets. Click on it. In this, we are having a data set which is Irish. Press open. The name of the variables are in the first column. Sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width. Irish is a the type is categorical and it is a tar and it is a target variable. Remember, at present we are dealing with a classification problem. The values are iris setosa, iris versicolor, iris virginica. Now the next thing which you will have to do is activate the decision tree. It is available in the model. Click here. Connect the file with the decision tree. Now, go in the visualize and activate tree viewer connected. Now, double click on it. So, you can see iris setosa. Then, what is a petal length? If petal length is less than 1.9 or greater than 1.9, so it is iris setosa. If it is more than 1.9, it is iris versicolor. The next decision is to be taken of the petal width. If it is less than 1.7, it is iris versicolor. And if it is more than 
1.7 it is iris virginica so this is the way how decision tree is working labels you can change from here uh width zoom okay now close this now activate the data sampler it is available in transform click on it connect the file widget with the data sampler double click on it what are the options which are available fixed proportion of the data 70 percent goes for training 30 percent for testing fixed sample size only 10 instances will be extra extracted cross validation number of subsets 10 number of holes and bootstrapping so we start with the first one fixed proportion of data i already explained about the data sampler in my previous video kindly refer to the playlist close this now activate test and score which is available in evaluate click on it now connect the decision tree with test and score data sampler with test and score double click on it and it will give you the results maximize it so area under the cow 0.972 uh, classification accuracy 0.933 f1 0.9933 precision 0.935 so all the figures are very good you can see for individual also iris setosa iris virgin color iris versicolor okay and keep this as as it is number of poles can be increased or decreased from here if it is according to the random sampling then what will be the scores leave one out then what will be the scores only the train data output of train data output of test data okay now click on the cross validation again close this now we will activate the confusion matrix click here connect it double click on it so this is the actual data the example which i had given of the covid and this is the prediction done by the model so 40 this is a correct classification the actual data is iris setosa and the prediction done is also iris setosa 40 such cases are there 31 iris versicolor prediction done iris versicolor so the 31 are correct predicted 27 this is also correct prediction so diagonal all are correct predictions now let's talk about the misclassification actual iris virginica prediction done by the model is versicolor 2 iris versicolor actual data prediction done is iris virginica so seven misclassifications have been done close this next you have to activate the calibration plot it is available here click on it now connect it double click on it so the cali calibration plot enables you to see the prediction accuracy of class probabilities in a plot you can see for individual also iris versicolor iris virginica iris setosa sigmoid calibration or isotonic calibration from here classification accuracy f1 sensitivity and specificity precision and recall positive and negative predicted values true and false positive rate at present keep it on calibration curve only close it The next thing which we will do is we'll try to predict for a, we'll try to predict the class for the new data set so again go on the file widget click here now before we proceed further let me show you the test data so it consists of the paddle width paddle length sepal width and sepal length we have not given the classification values 
So we rely on the decision entry to classify it. Closes. It's a completely new data set. Closes. Now double click on it and browse the data set, the test data set. So it is available here, IRS test data. Press open. You can see there is no label here, which was, which was available in the previous case, right? Now what you will have to do? You will have to activate the predictions. So go below and activate predictions. Click here. Now connect this decision tree with the predictions and feed the new test data to the prediction. Double click on it and just see the classification has been done. So based on petal width, petal length, sepal width, sepal length, the first instance is setosa, second is setosa, then versicolor, 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 and seven and eight are virginica. So this was all about how to run decision tree in orange. For more videos on data mining using orange, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.